Hey there, thanks for joining us. This is GM Vault. I am Eric, and uh, we're going to be talking about templates. There's been some really cool things that have changed inside Scabbard over the last, mm, I don't know, month or so, and I wanted to show you how I use them, how you can use them, and how you can use them to quickly build out a campaign or a town or something like that, or a whole group of uh, secret spies in just a matter of minutes by using templates. Okay, so what is a template? A template uh, is a part of the Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager that allows you to create a basic outline for pretty much anything you want. So any kind of entry. You could create a basic outline for an NPC. You could create a basic outline for a player character uh uh, sheet. So you could put all their stats in there. You could put their items and inventory in there. Um, and you can customize this. So say you're doing a homebrew game or perhaps uh, a system other than Dungeons and Dragons that you can find online. And you would like to build out the, uh, the player character uh, sheet. And you can do that right in here by just clicking a button and creating a new clone of the template. Uh, you could also do the same thing with an event. So say you have uh, an adventure outline that you like to use or a dungeon outline outline that you like to use, or a shop for a village that you like to use, or just general statistics for a village or a town, like the population, the amount of money it, uh, it makes, the primary NPCs, and where to find them. And you wanted to sort of systematize that, find a way to, I'm going to quickly create Gnome Village A and quickly create Gnome Village B. I don't know what their names are, but I can write out the differences very quickly. And you can do that using a template. It's something you're not going to find anywhere else. And the ability to customize those templates exactly like you like them or find one that somebody else has already made and copy theirs. And then now you've got that template that you can use over and over and over again. So if somebody's already made a Dungeons and Dragons 5e player character worksheet, you can just clone it and put it into your campaign. So a huge number of uses for this. I like it for a variety of reasons. I think you can make a template of a note uh, so that uh, you want to keep notes. Uh, you, a, a lot of people will use it to create a template of their session log. Um, so they Want to if they want to keep notes or the player characters would like to keep notes for the game, you can create a template so it looks pretty much the same every single time and can be shared out to your players very easily with the right connections in the background. And that's the best thing about a template. You're not just copying the description. You're not just copying the secrets, the GM secrets uh, sections. You're not just copying all that, the picture and so on. You're also copying the tabs at the bottom. So if you put uh, a stats tab at the bottom, you want to... Uh, sort of flesh that out, it will copy that for you. It will copy images if you happen to have them in there. Um, for example, I'll show you one that I have where I have uh, a PDF in there to give myself some ideas for how to build out a shop. And uh, I've got it right there. And whenever I clone that template, that PDF is also going to be connected in there. The best thing is it also uh, copies your connections. So if you, for example, say this is a NPC villain and you have a template for NPC villains, it's going to have that on the right hand side whenever you put that in. So that's the huge value there is that whenever you build these templates, you can really speed things up in building your campaign out. All right, that's a lot of talk, but the best way to talk about templates is to actually show you how to use them. So I'm going to dive in right now. Okay, I am inside of my sample campaign that you can find on Scabbard. I use this for a lot of my tutorials and it's actually a perfect one to use for this because I can show you how to bring in a template. So I'm gonna start with this. You can see I'm in the editing page. So you can see right now, I've got you know just my basic campaign page up. I've got a few of these uh, entries that we've made during some of our uh, tutorials. I'm gonna go over here on the left-hand side and I'm gonna show you there's a button here that says templates. Now, mind you, uh, customizable templates is a legend feature. So if you don't have legend, you'll wanna add that in order to use these functions. But let's just assume you've got it and you're ready to go, or you're checking this out to see if you like it. If you don't see it in there, just make sure uh, you, you have the right package to have all these features. So I'm gonna click on templates here, and you can see whenever this comes up, I only have the one campaign plan. I put that in there during one of my other videos and now I can use it anytime I want. So let's take a look at the template. I'm just going to open it up here 
The key difference between a template and any other entry is literally one click on the editing screen. So let's go take a look at that. We'll go to edit. And you'll see here, that is the click you want. Is template true? Once it's a template, it's now loaded into your templates. And depending on the type of template it is, that's where you're going to find it. So we'll save this. This was a, a template of a campaign plan. I use this all the time. And you can see it's got this image in here. I know, crazy pictures. You can go back and look at my other video as to why I use these pictures uh, for the campaign plan. But you can see uh, over here, one of the things I don't have is any connections for this note. If I wanted to, I could add connections into this note. And we could go up here and we could put this in a folder. We could make it a, um, a sub note or note of a place or note of an item. None of those really applied, GM note of a venture or something like that. But if I wanted to, I can create that here and then click save. And it will, when I clone it, it will also have that connection. So be aware of that. So if you make some really specific uh, connections that don't make any sense. If you clone it, just make sure you take them off of the template and you'll be ready to go. Just take them off the template and save it and it'll be fine because that it saves like a regular entry. All right, so let's uh, let's put in a new one. I actually want to go over to uh, the, um, uh, the content exchange and I'm going to pull in a template and then add it into my campaign. So uh, tips and tools, uh, you can see there I've got content exchange. And this is just a shared place. If you have a gold star entry, you can share it on the content ex exchange. And you can see I actually have made a few and they do show up in here. I've got the encounter template, uh, Raven's Maw, that's my, my username. And then I've got the character template for D&D 5e. I actually made that and you can see 35 people have cloned that into their campaigns and used it. So I'm glad some people love it. Fantastic. All right. So uh, I want to pull in actually a village or ta uh, town or city template. That's also one that I created. And I'm going to, uh, all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clone that and I'm going to put it into the War of the Mountain Gods campaign and click clone. It's going to take it into my campaign. Now you'll notice at the top here, I cloned it and it's still a template. Awesome, right? And you can see it's got a place category, large city. I don't really like that. I'm actually just going to change that and we're gonna make it a uh, village right there and save it. Village, town, or city template. Now in this template, uh, I, I just put some basic ideas in there. Um, and down at the bottom, I, you can see uh, I've added a lot of text here just to make sure it was a gold star entry. I just made sure it had all the text I could possibly imagine. And you can see in the stats what I added here, right? So I've got statistics, population, economy, government, some examples of what you can sit in there, some additional statistics such as the, the racial makeup of the city or town or village, right? And then notable locations, notable NPCs. So all the basic information. So we're actually going to go over here to places Right here, I'm going to click the plus button and look look what pops up. As soon as you add in a template for a particular type of entry, when you click on the plus button on the left hand side, you will get a pop up that allows you to create a blank new place or you can clone the village, town or city template. Fantastic. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clone it. We're going to name it Ugagua. Ugagua. All right, there's my uh, village. I'm gonna clone it into my group here or into my campaign. And you can see at the top now, this is not a template. It says, here's the template I got it from. Um, and the name of the city uh, or the name of the village there, right? And I can begin to go in and make some of the changes to the stats and that will not change from my template because if I go over to the edit, you'll see this is not selected. When you clone it, when you clone a template and make a new one, it's gonna ask you for the name and it's gonna click off of is template, right? So we'll click save. But let's say you've created an NPC, okay? And you really like the format for that. You're gonna clear out all the, it, you know, the unique information for that NPC and turn it into a template. And then from that, you might wanna do like villain or say ally and make those very similar in their design, but you would like to make a copy uh, like their positive relationship with the NPC or for the villain, you might want to pay, put you know a whole section for schemes. Either way, you can customize your templates however you want and create them into your campaign. Now, 
all that's really cool. So if I add in, um, if I go back to the content exchange here and I wanna add in say the major villain templates, I'm gonna clone that into my game. Um, pretty, pretty fast, it's gonna take me right over there. I'm actually gonna go right back, content exchange, and I'm gonna add back in the shop template, because I love the shop template. Really, really easy to use, so I'm gonna clone that guy there. And we're gonna put in the War of the Mountain Gods. All right, so now I've got a shop template. I've got my village template. I've got my in major villain template. And I can go over here and you can see, whenever I click characters, you'll see major villain template is now there. Uh, you'll see under places, if I go new, it's gonna have now the shop template. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. We'll call this uh, Orthos uh, Weird Things. Clone that. I like this one uh, because, oh look, I've got a, a new one. I don't need that. Um, <laughs> and I wanna show you the what I put in here and how this is valuable. As you can see, it already comes up with a place category of a shop, which is great, right? Uh, if I go over to stats, it's got, uh, the stats are already kind of ready to go to put item, category, and price. But then I also added in a PDF. You could make this a map, you could make this anything you want, but I put in a PDF uh, of a uh, pretty cool resource I found online of all the different prices. Right, so I can quickly take this, I can write in the prices, or literally, if I don't wanna fill out the stats, I could just quickly add that, uh, you know, pull this up and say, yeah, he's got it there, and it's gonna cost uh, 19 silver instead of five silver because he didn't like the look of you. Right, so I can do whatever I want in there, and then I can also, uh, you can see I put some other things in here. I've got a description of the shop, physical description of the proprietor, the owner, or whatever, a NPC voice, I do voices, so I like to do a lot of funny accents and things like that. So I try to put that in there. You don't have to. Uh, you can say gruff, nice, uh, however you want to put it. Uh, personality, friendly, suspicious, and so on. So you can add that in there. All uh, The beauty of it is this is going to be there now anytime I want. And I can quickly generate about 10 shops in a small village or a town or something like that using the same template over and over and over again. And before you know it, I have all the notes that I need to play out that village as the, as the, as the players, uh, you know, approach it, I'm ready to go. All right, so that's really cool, but what about this? What if I wanted to start with the villager town? So I, I created my my new village, right? Un, uh, Ungawa, right? Uh, which uh, is right here, Ungawa. Ungaga. Ungagua. Ungagua. I like that better. Ungagua. And I want to add in my shops, but I want to do it really fast. Not slow, really fast. This is a really cool hack. Go to the connections. Go down to, um, you can say subregion, okay? So, or you can do location of place or something like that, but I like subregion. Uh, I make all my shops subregion. So I'm gonna go subregion, right? We're gonna add in the one we already made, or those weird things. All right, so it's gonna you know track that and put it in there. But what if I make a new one? So let's let's call this uh, Jameson's Armory. Look what happened there. All I did was I clicked off of it. Okay, that's all I did. I clicked off of the blank when I created a new one, and look what uh, the pop up is. It's exactly the same as the one on the other screen. So now Jameson's Armory. I just simply click clone and then you'll click OK there'll be this little pop-up it'll say click OK and then I'm gonna save it and it is going to generate that template now notice I could have done that about 10 times if I wanted to say you've got a bunch of names of places already ready to go and you're just gonna go okay I already know I need a herbalist and I already know I need the um, uh, I, I need the tavern okay so maybe you've got a tavern template and you're just gonna quickly throw that in there it's got the menu ready to go and all that kind of stuff boom I've got Jameson's armory already built into my town so yes I know I'm probably over excited about this but I love world building and campaign building and this to me speeds it up 
so fast. I, I cannot tell you how excited I was whenever I realized I could, I could add these in by going to the template box on the left-hand side, or I could add them in literally one right after the other, after the other, after the other, and create that template ready to go for Jameson's Armory. So now when I go to Jameson's Armory, it's already going to be ready for me to fill in all the information with the cost and with the stats if I wanted to add that in there. And it tells me that it's a subregion of Ugawa. I can go right back by clicking on Ugagawa, and it will take me right back there where I know I need to work that out. Okay. Hopefully, you are beginning to see the incredible value of this new template feature in Skyward RPG Campaign Manager. It is not something you're going to find anywhere else. I have not found anything like it. If you do, please do me the favor of sticking that in the comments. I'd really be interested to see if there's other systems out there that allow you to do something like this. If there is, let me know because I would like to review them to see if that's easier. I'm a huge fan of Skyward RPG fan, uh, Campaign Manager because I, I am all about making life easier for me as a game master. And since all of my games are 100% online, so all of my players are in other states, I need an online campaign manager rather than a notebook so that I can quickly pull things up or even show them to my players anytime I feel like it. You know, the beauty of this system is I can share all this with my players, including these towns and places. So if there's an NPC that my player needs to know about, like say it's an old friend or their dad and they've sent me some notes by email, I can create an entry for that, make my player uh, using the, the template. So I can create an, uh, an NPC entry using the template so it's got all the right stuff in there. I take their notes, I pop them in, and then I can share that entry with uh, that player and now they have access to it anytime online on their phone on their computer from anywhere huge value they don't have to pull up that email they don't have to have it written down in, in paper notes uh, huge value there okay that's it for templates today if you have any questions do me a favor stick them down below in the you know uh, whatever down there and uh, you can write it there and and ask and I'd be glad to answer them if there's anything you'd like to know how to do all right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. It's a brand new channel. I just started back in November and uh, it, we'll call this my COVID hobby. And I do love doing this and I would love it if more people watched. I not only do these kinds of tutorials, but I also do some just basic GM tip stuff. And I come at it from the perspective of a relatively new GM. Um, although I've played D&D for over 30 years, I have only recently started uh, game mastering in the last three years. So a lot of the times whenever I learn something or hear something and it's really exciting to me, I want to share it and this is how I do it. So please like and subscribe. Uh, this is Eric and you're watching GM Vault. We'll see you next time.